Hey you, this is Jasim from Codeband and in this video we are going to be talking about an advanced shell in Django, the Shell Plus. So if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please do subscribe our channel and click the bell icon near to it. And we have started our Codeband community groups in Telegram and WhatsApp. So the links will be in the pinned comment below. So join right away. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so this is a sample project that uh, I'm working on. So I'll, I'll be demonstrating the whole process of uh, why you should use Shell Plus. So oftentimes you might uh, want to interact with your uh, database models. So in this case, maybe with department or employee models, you might want to interact with them through the normal Django shell. So for that, uh, uh, we, we, we use something like Python manage.py shell. So this one, uh, uh, suppose if you want to fetch all all those departments so for that uh, we would actually use something like department dot objects dot all now this one won't work because department is not defined so uh, in this case you would do something like uh, from company now the company is the application name here so for from company dot models uh, import department and um, actually this would work now if i say like department or objects or all this works but this is a kind of uh, uh, extra work that we need to import every single stuff before actually using it so this is a kind of uh, caveat that i found with the regular uh, django shell so there comes into play the advanced shell that is the shell plus now this comes as a part of a popular Django package known as Django extension. So this is the Django extensions documentation. I'll put the link in the description section so that you can follow along. Now they, as, as it says, it is a collection of custom extensions for Django framework. So there are a lot of things here, but the one we are interested in here is the shell plus here. So uh, I'll demonstrate uh, the shell plus, but before that we need to actually uh, install the Django extensions package. So uh, from this link here, it will be in the description section, just copy and paste this stuff here, pip install Django extensions. Uh, I'll just uh, exit out of this shell here and I'll say pip install Django extensions and it'll install that package for me. Now, uh, the next thing is actually um, uh, including that in the settings.py. So in the settings.py, uh, underneath the debug toolbar, so I'll, I'll just say like Django underscore extensions and yeah, that would do the trick. Now you can say something like, uh, if I go to the shell plus here, you can see I can say something like python manage.py shell underscore plus. So if I do say something like, like that, so python manage.py shell underscore plus, then you can see that uh, there is some something different from the regular one. You can see shell plus model imports. So the all the models are automatically imported for me by default. So it also automatically imported some extra stuff here because uh, we might use those things in case. So. Uh, you, you can uh, if you want to fetch all those departments here now you, you, you don't need to actually import you can just say like department dot objects dot all and that would do the trick so this is a kind of cool feature that uh, the Django shell uh, shell plus provides us uh, which is a part of the Django extensions package so I hope you enjoyed this stuff and uh, if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so yeah that's it guys thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one